Hey guys, it's Decker here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the best editing software for beginners. It's absolutely for free, but can be used at a pro level as well if you master it. And that is right, it's called DaVinci Resolve. I will, of course, have a link to it down below, and I'm going to show you guys the full process on how to set it up and, of course, how to utilize it. So, once you're on DaVinci Resolve's website, what you want to do if you want to download and get this application, you got to click download now once you actually start downloading this you can select for mac windows linux so it has all the shebang so if you really are on uh, apple and you want to look for apple you can do so for me for example here we're going to download windows and what you need to do is fill out the information and once you do so you click register which i'm going to do here for myself but once you fill out that information all you have to do is click download and once it starts downloading it's going to actually add to your desktop now once it's downloaded, it's going to look like the zip file right here. If we want to actually get the app from it, all we have to do is click on this, right click on it on our keyboard, click extract all. And when we extract this, of course, drag out all the information from it and give us the application to install it. Now that you've done that, you can actually open this application and install it through the process. And with it installed, we can actually use DaVinci Resolve on our computer. Now that we DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to teach you guys how to use it to its absolute max. So make sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to take raw footage and turn into an awesome video so for example here you're gonna have some open project file of course for example here we're gonna create our own we're just gonna click new project and we just call it whatever we want for me i'm not gonna call anything specific and we're just gonna open this up like so now you're gonna get access to a few different things first of all you're gonna have a cut area a media area and an edit area which is this is the video editing area and then fusion and of course color direction so there's a lot of stuff you can do with editing software right out of the gate you can literally have easy to use access for free and of course some pro grade tools that you can utilize and honestly that's the best part about it now i'm gonna teach you guys on how to take a random clips together and make this Oh my god now that was a pretty good clip now keep in mind that was on a paid editing software i pay for a yearly for a hundred dollars and this is a free editing software i'm gonna do you have to make the exact same thing for free so let's get into it so of course we're gonna need our media now for me example here here are two clips i used to make that video we're gonna drag this into the media pool area where it says no clips in media and you don't have to modify this however you want for us for example here we're just not gonna change that and then if you want to mess up your actual settings for your actual clips in your timeline you can of course go into settings and set this however you want now for me i am going to set this to 60 fps and the reason why i'm setting it to that is because of the fact that this clip it actually uses 60 fps now if you're using anything that have a different uh playback settings then you just change it to one maybe a 4k 30 then you just change it to 30 and all the jazz and you can change the resolution as well and if you want to make this portrait for making tiktoks or youtube shorts you click click portrait then you just apply that and then you click change there you go you can make tiktoks with it and it's the same process and you want to uncheck it you uncheck it save it and then you're good to go now that you know the basic settings let's show you how to actually edit here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first clip from our timeline and drag it on into here now keep in mind when you drag a clip into the timeline it's going to automatically be linked so you can see right here if i move it around it's all together but if i was to unlink it like so by covering and clicking both of them you click link clips and we just unclick that now we can actually take your two separate clips and move them however we want which is pretty nice now for simplicity i'm just gonna make them link together so that way they're easy to edit and i recommend this for everyone who is using this software now if we want to actually use these tools and we want to actually edit this for ourselves, you of course can mess with the audio for me i'm definitely going to turn this down because it is a pretty loud clip and if you actually want to lower the audio in the clip you can literally just take this bar here and drag this down ever so slightly now i'm going to make this just for example here on nine and then we're going to drag for our playback audio down to a 12 just for the time being so now if we were to watch this back So what we're trying to focus is on is him getting the Kraber shots and in some nice clips, right? So what we want to actually do if we want to utilize this is we're going to drag, put the space bar. And as soon as we find the part where we want, we're here for him to stick the zip. So you take the zip right here, right? So when we hear that, what we're going to do is highlight both of these, make sure it's on the mouse tool. And we can drag this to a side since it's linked. That will remove any of the unwanted footage, like the fluff and stuff we don't want in the very beginning. Now, if we click play, Now you can see we have that that's pretty good now we want to do the same thing for the end we want to add that we can just drag that down now 
And if we want to drag in a second clip, the same process, bring that on in here. Now, what we're gonna do is teach you guys how to split a clip. And this way you can cut it up however you want if you don't want to like just drag it side to side. This way you can actually dice it up and mess with it however you want. So of course we have a link together. And what we're gonna do is focus on this part and try to get the ash. There's an ash in this clip. We can see right around here, she tries to swing on my guy. So when she swings, she gets clapped. So we want to find the part where she peeks and get shot. But we want to focus on the part when he zooms in and the reason why we're doing that is because he whips the first shot which no one cares about his weapon they only cares about hitting heads right so as soon as we hear we're gonna select both of this and click b on our keyboard that or you can click this tool right here so we are mouse tool you can click this tool which is the blade tool and what we're gonna do is hover on the blade right here and then click on this part so we're gonna just bring our blade dice and you can see it diced it so now what we're gonna do is go back to our mouse click on this highlight both and delete it so now, as soon as he hits that one shot on the first kid, you can see a transition to when he zooms in. So we're gonna transition to when he zooms in right here. Do like right around a few seconds in before it goes all the way in. We're gonna grab our blade tool again, or click B on our play keyboard and dice that. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're gonna make a clean cut when he takes the second shot. So we're gonna just look around our clip, wait for him to take the shot. You can see right there, he hits it. So before he hits it, we're gonna take our blade tool just a little bit in front and dice it now what we're gonna do is click delete on a keyboard which will move the clip and then if we watch this back we should see how it looks similar to what the professional editing software looks like oh. <laughs> oh my god you see how clean that is this is a free editing software and you can get the same results out of a professional grade software in this which is actually freaking insane and of course if you want to actually get this for yourself it will be linked down below of course and if you want to actually now know how to render it out all you have to do is pretty straightforward let's first finish our clip highlight both grab our blade tool again or we can just drag it to the side for me and for example here since it's super simple i don't use the blade tool gun i can just drag it to a side and of course with this what we want to now do is we want to run this on out we want to go to deliver what deliver is going to do is going to actually make it so you can render so we can do custom render we can have whatever we want for me i'm going to do h264 and what we're gonna do is make sure this is on video or if you just want to do audio you can just do audio if you want to but like we're gonna leave this on pretty much all the same uh so what we're gonna do is change the file format to mp4 we're gonna do h264 for the codec make sure it's 1080p 60 fps and then you can of course miss the audio however you want for me i live at 32 bit because this is the audio recording i did in obs and then all that other jazz now what we're gonna do if we want to start any of this is go do add to queue when it adds a queue we of course can place it wherever we want we don't want to call it uh kraber shot or something like that i did not spell creeper right that is 100 percent for sure and you can see it's now in here i ready the render and then if we want to render it all you have to do is click render all and this will render any project we have existing on that timeline once it's done you should be able to go back into your downloads and you should see on your file here now let's run it here is the professional editing software of the clip Just happy zipping. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. And now here is using DaVinci Resolve. Happy oh. <laughs> oh my god. So you can see the results are pretty astounding what you can do with this free editing software. And you have so many more professional tools if you want to utilize color grading and stuff like that to really mess with your clips however you want. But uh, that's another story for another day. If you guys want to see more footage on how to use DaVinci Resolve to its absolute max, then let me know in the comment. But if you guys did find this video helpful today and enjoyed this free editing software, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you did find this video helpful, then you know what to do. And I'll see you guys for another tech video, Tech Grant, out.